Hey everybody, I'm Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, and this is our Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 506. This is almost like a, a chapter two because I started this class in YouTube number 500. It was on May 6th, maybe? It was YouTube class number 500. It was National Scrapbooking Day, and we along with Spellbinders, launched their better press, letter press system. It was a whole do's and don'ts of how to use the letter press, better press system. But the global launch, the global launch happens today. It's June 17th. You should, if you're watching this during the premiere and we're live chatting, it is June 17th and this is the global launch of the Letterpress Better Press system by Spellbinders. And we want to give them a huge congratulations. It's an award-winning item. It is innovative. It's easy to use. And we are going to stacify this little tool up to where you can use it again, and then you can use it for this, and then you can use it for that, and then you can use it again. And <laughs> it really has a lot of opportunity. Now, being that we were the first to launch it with Spellbinders way back in May, we weren't able to ship the items because they hadn't yet arrived. <laughs> Global launch was today, is today, and that means that we have begun shipping our letterpress, better press, better press, letterpress from Spellbinders for all of those customers who pre-ordered it back in May. We are shipping them out as fast as we can pack them. So pay attention to your email. If you've purchased one, you will see that eventually in the next few days, well, today's Saturday, so we don't work Saturday and we're not open on Sunday. So the first of next week, so maybe midweek, we'll be able to have them all out. I know many of you have already received an email saying that yours has shipped and you are going to love it. You're gonna be able to pull it out and you're gonna be able to sit with me during this class. You'll, you'll watch it again and we will play with the Better Press Letter Press system together. So I just want to give a big congratulations to everybody at Spellbinders who worked so hard to make this happen. I have two exclusive plates for you today that you won't find anywhere else that work with your better press system. We we don't have a beginner's bundle, so those plates are available to, you don't have to buy the, 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 the system to get the plates. We're not bundling it together because so many of you have already purchased a system, maybe from your local independent retailer or perhaps your favorite online store, and that, that might not be us, and that's okay. We're here to teach you and to guide you and to give you the confidence to pull out these tools and play. Now, being that today is the global launch, there's gonna be lots of information about the Better Press Letter Press out there, whether it be on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. In fact, rumor has it, and I don't know this person. I, I've never met Jennifer McGuire. We've never talked, we've never emailed. She has probably zero clue who I am, and that's okay. I mean, Jennifer McGuire, ah, Tim Holtz, ah, you know? <laughs> And then Stacy Park, scrapbooking made simple, but we try harder. So I mean, I've never met her, but she like she like is up there, and um, and we look up to all that she does. It's my understanding that she's going to have a video today also on the Better Press Letter Press system. Have no idea when, and I'm sure that she'll probably be linking you over to Simon Says Stamps to buy it. If that is where you are most comfortable to shop, go visit Simon Says Stamps, pick up your Better Press letter press from them, and then come get the exclusive plates from Scrapbooking Made Simple because, well, we're the only ones that have it. We firmly believe that, that if you sprinkle your dollars around, <laughs> Better yet, if you have a local independent retailer who has a better press system, buy it from them. Skip me, skip, skip scrapbook.com if they have it, skip Simon Says Stamps, skip them all. If you're lucky enough to still have a brick and mortar store to walk into and they know your name, <laughs> 
or they want to know your name, buy it from them. And, and then come online and if you love the two plates that we have for you today, then you can shop with us. But I'm sure you're gonna have ample opportunity to find this system now that it will be readily available. And of course, those of you who already placed your order for it when we launched it, well, you're going to have it a little earlier than most. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, so oodles of content from influencers and the retail store owners who want to just teach you and spellbinders themselves I'm sure was going to have lots of content out you shuffle through and see what applies to you and and if you can watch as much as you can because this is an investment and it's going to be an ongoing product so this isn't something that we're going to show once and never show again in fact, I already know that there's another Better Press, Letter Press, um, YouTube booked because I have two more exclusive plates and they're holiday. <laughs> so <laughs> today is going to be about fun, just fun. Sit back, relax, take some notes if you want. I will put my pause face on. I haven't done this for a long time, but if you want to grab a piece of paper and pencil, I never want to have my eyes like half closed when you pause me because you always have the weirdest face on when somebody pauses you. So if you want to go grab a piece of paper and pencil, here is my pause face. Pause me now. See, I'm going to hold this pose and I'm not going to blink. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. <laughs> take notes, write down the video number, and that way you can you can take a little bit from me and a, a little bit from Spellbinders and maybe a little bit from Jennifer or a little bit from your retail store owner who's been playing with their system and marry it all together so that you have the best education on how to use this, this tool because it is a tool. All right, I have got winner, winner chicken dinner to talk about two of you. I want to let Justin know just in time. Justin is, he is a customer of ours. He is the one who always sends me the banners. He's just the sweetest guy. We have never met and yet I feel I know him. We, we've never met, but, but I know, I know him. So every time I have a, a big, a big momentous, like achievement, like this one was 500 YouTubes, 500 YouTubes or more, I don't know if it's zooming in. He always is so thoughtful and sends me a banner to put, that's my whole backdrop. <laughs> I'm in my husband's, my husband's office. I don't know why he gets the office and I don't get the office, but I'm down in the retail store. That's where I work. And when customers come in, they know just where to find me or they hear me talking on the phone and they'll be like, she's here. And it's like, yes, she is. But she's on the phone trying to get business done. <laughs> Okay, so Justin, your system has arrived. Do not buy one. I am sending you one because that was your that was your winner winner chicken dinner for always being so thoughtful and so kind to us here at SMS. Now I do have two winners from last week. And these two lucky peeps, lucky ladies, they posted a comment below. You look down, there's a place to post a comment below and their comment was approvable. That means it was kind. It, it just said, hello. It could say, hey, how you doing? It could say, had, had, I had a great dinner tonight. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It doesn't have to be about me. It doesn't have to be about the class. You can share something about yourself. You can tell us about your day, your family, your fur babies, anything you want, as long as it's kind. And if it's kind, SMS guy James will approve it and then we have a software that randomly selects two winner winner chicken dinners and they get $25 to spend and gosh if you already have purchased your better press system either of these two ladies you could take that $25 and use it on some of the new plates that are out or even the exclusive plates here at SMS and if you haven't purchased a better press system yet well, $25 is a nice little chunk to go towards <laughs> purchasing one. All right, are you ready to hear if you're a winner winner? So again, down below, if you are watching this during our premiere, we are live chatting. You'll see a live chat going on over here. Those don't count. If you don't see a live chat over there, the premiere's over with. Post below, you're good. Okay, our first winner winner is Rita. 
Rita Glore? Hello, Rita, how are you doing? Well done, you, congratulations. You are a winner, winner chicken dinner of a $25 gift card, and according to that check mark, <laughs> it should already be in your online account, so go have yourself some fun. Our second winner, winner is Pamela. Hello, Pamela Goodman. Well done, you too. Congratulations, Pamela. Are you so excited? Are you like, wow, she really is hopped up on some coffee. There's some caffeine flowing, but I'm excited, so yay. <laughs> Way to go, Pamela and Rita. You don't have to do anything to claim your prize. Like I said, fingers crossed, the $25 has been put into your account and we hit the save button. We sometimes will put the $25 credit into your account, but we forget to hit the save button because the save button isn't like right next to it. It's all the way down at the bottom of the page and we'll be in a hurry and we don't hit the save button. So if you don't see your $25, just let me know and I'll get it in there as quickly as possible. Somebody mentioned it on the live chat and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so I went and I added it because <laughs> I forgot to hit the save button. So Rita and Pamela, we have to do the winner winner chicken dinner dance. I hope you are gonna stand up and do it with me. I would stand, but I can't. I'm my own camera person, so I'm just gonna sit here and we are going to rock it out. Are you ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Congratulations to the both of you, and I hope you enjoy whatever it is that you purchase that makes your heart happy. It makes my heart happy to give you the opportunity to find something that you've always wanted or to stock up on stuff you need. And we're just thrilled to have, have you as customers and, and we're just thrilled to have you as friends of SMS, really. That's, that's really what it is. So, all right, you guys, I have a lot to do today. I have my coffee. You're like, she doesn't need any more. Somebody come take it away from her. I know, but it. I had a very long night last night. I, I think I was up at 2.30 in the morning and I've been up since 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> so we're gonna rock this out. We're gonna, we're gonna show you everything about the Better Press. I'm not gonna do a full beginner's tutorial on it because I've already done that in Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 500 go back and take a look and I, I will show you some of that, but I'm not gonna go all the way through it again because I have new things to show you and new things to share with you. So I think it's time I tilt on down. I'm gonna show you a few samples. I will pull out a better press so you can see what's in the, the better press system that retails for $79.99. And then we will start working with some of the things that are in front of me and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. All right, you guys, I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started. I've got some samples to show you, and then we're gonna start to play. It's good to see everybody. Watch, by the time I'm done with this video, I'll be yawning. <laughs> Isn't that what happens? It's like you have this, this rush from the caffeine. I never drink two cups of coffee a day. I mean, it has to be a really hard day for me to drink two cups. And I haven't I haven't, this is the, I haven't, I'm, I'm still, I have only had just a little bit of this one because Starbucks is, wow, hello, strong. All right, well, hello. Speaking of, isn't that so cute? Now this, this is a combination of my exclusive plates and a plate from Spellbinders, but how did I do that through the better press? Ah, oh, so simple. So simple. And then another, this is my other exclusive plate. So pretty and so easy. All right, you guys. So we're gonna get started for today. Let me just put these over there and let me grab the Better Press box. This is a Better Press letter press system. It is uh, a platform that runs through your machine. It will go through a Platinum, a Platinum 6, a Big Shot machine, a Big Kick machine, a Vagabond machine, a Switch machine, a Big Shot Plus, a Big Shot Pro, a Fold Away machine from Sizzix. I don't know I don't know what other machines it will go through because the machine has to be able to accept 
a thicker die, like a steel rule die. If your machine will accept a steel rule die, like a Tim Holtz alterations die, then you're gonna be fine with the better press. It will work. The Cuddlebug machine is too narrow, so don't look to try and put this through your Cuddlebug machine. And gosh, they've been discontinued. So once your Cuddlebug machine has seen better days, I, I think you should invest in a Sizzix Big Shot machine. It is the, the, the workhorse of die cutting machines for sure. So this is their beginner kit, and they've added some paper in it. They've added the better press letter press system. They've given you a plate to start. They've given you an ink to start. So let me show you what all of that looks like. So this is what's in that kit. I have got paper, and this is not just any paper. This is their hundred or, or hundred it, it's a hundred percent cotton it, it is their cotton card panels I wanna it is a hundred and eighteen pound it is super thick super heavy and almost feels like the finest of fine stationery so inside here is three different colors there's a, a porcelain a bisque and kind of a light gray they give you a starter pack because then they sell these colors open in open stock in, in their own little in their own little packages but this this gives you an opportunity to play with this paper is it inexpensive no this is pretty pricey paper but what it does and how it works with the better press is simply beautiful. They also give you their better press ink. Now this ink is very much like an archival ink. Yes, archival ink. We carry the Jacquard black waterproof ink, which also is very much like an archival ink. Difference is this is a very inexpensive pad, um, not cheap inexpensive there's a difference this pad is made by jacquard which is a fine art company and this this ink is beautiful but you do get the black ink in from with your kit we also will have for you i want to see if i've got it here somewhere open stock will have for you the re-inkers for this pad we're not going to sell this pad but it only seems right that you should be able to purchase the re-inker for it. That way, if this is the only black you ever use, you know you can re-ink it again and again and again. The re-inker does not come with the starter kit. So we've got the paper, we've got the ink, we've got their best ever craft tape. If you need to tape something down, we use our system a little differently than Spellbinders. They tape, I believe they might tape their paper to their to, to their system. I don't, I let things just rock and roll, but I know that that's what they use this for. Then inside, I have got a plate for you to start with. So they've included a beautiful set so that you can, you can start letter pressing the minute you get it you've got the ink you've got your die cutting system you've got everything you need you don't need to buy anything more until you find other plates that make your heart happy we've got the book kind of the how-to guide on how to you know the basic tips and tricks on how to use it you, i think you'll find it more helpful to watch a video than, I mean, this is a great little handy reference guide, but of course, as a teacher, I'm gonna delve into this far more than they could. They'd have to write a novel to put everything in that you can do with the system. And then we have our top plate, and I always forget what they call the different pieces. Um, let's see, you've got your chase, and you've got your, is it plantain? Is that what they call it? A plantain? So I think this is called a plantain. And this part is called the chase. And those are terms from letter pressing. That's where they got the terms from. And those are, those are terms that are used in, a let, in letter press systems. So these two are magnetic. And it holds right into place. What I'm holding in my hands 
is a magnetic platform that fits right into the chase. And then this little, this little pouch here gives you three shims. One, two, three. They've given you three shims to start with. And you very well may need one of these. You may need two of these. You may need three of these. Or you may need to add a little bit of, you know, of copy paper. It's all going to depend upon your die cutting machine because everybody's die cutting machine is a little different. And these slip right under there. These shims just slip right under there, stay there, and don't impede, impede at all when you are sending it through your machine. And like I said, if your machine from whatever manufacturer it is, whether it be spy, uh, Spellbinders or Sizzix, your machine may be brand new and it's still really tight when you roll through. It's still, nothing's loosened up, so you may not need to use any shims at all. Your machine might be a year old and you use it you use it often, but not every day, and it might have loosened up a little bit, so you may need one shim. Or you may be like me, where my Big Shot machine is used all the time. It is a workhorse. It just goes and goes and goes, but it has loosened up over the years to the point where I'm, you wouldn't think something this thin, you wouldn't think something this thin will make the difference on whether it transfers the ink or not, but it really does. So they've given you three to start, and I will show you on my machine today, I needed a few more. I just got some copy paper out and built my, my shims up until everything went through the way I wanted it to. These little magnets, they press down, and that is how the better press letter press system works. The top, you can see it's got, um, it's, it's not cracked, it's got, uh, it's got, protective coating on it. It links up and when you send it through the machine it just slowly presses down almost like a stamp press would. So of course yes you can use this as a stamp press as well. Don't have to use it just for a better press. Now is there a difference as to what side you use? No. You can go this way, Is it? does it have to go backwards and forwards? No, you can go this way. I'll tell you that um, they've got the, the A7 and the A2 markings on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which way you flip it. You'll be able to see if you're lining anything up. It's very, very simple to use. Now I'm gonna put all of this over here. And I think because I have opened this one, this is we're gonna this will be the this will be the giveaway not a $25 gift card today we'll give away a better press system because you're gonna get the one that I opened so as long as you're okay with getting an opened one then we're gonna send you this one for free and when you post your comment you just post anything you want to post but if you're our winner winner chicken dinner you're going to get a better press system for free and I will include they may be used because I only have so many but I will include my two my two exclusive plates like i said they may be used but they'll work fine you'll love them i promise and um and that'll be instead of a 25 dollars gift card we'll do this if i can if if you don't mind used plates i'll give two of these away because we always have two winners so that seems fair right two winners that's what we'll do we'll give two of those away with my better press plates and um, they just probably won't be pristine. They might come looking a little bit like this. But then you can go back and say, oh, that's the one she used on camera. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Okay, so before we get started rolling things through and, and doing that, I wanna, I wanna tilt on up just for a minute and talk to you a little bit about some misconceptions about the letterpress better press plate. Spellbinders has, has had a company manufacture this beautiful paper for them, and it is beautiful. It is Italian made, it's cotton paper, it's, it's not watercolor paper, but it is 
it, it, it's a different type of paper and when you send it through because of the softness of the paper that plate really puts that engraving you can feel the engraving on the paper but does that mean it's the only paper you can use with your better press system no it is not today I will be using hundred pounds simply defined white and black paper you don't have to use the better press paper unless you choose to. And maybe you have some handy for when you have a beautiful card that you want to make. Something that you want that letter press to really feel like a fine, fine invitation or wedding card or birthday card. And then other times maybe using just cardstock is enough you have the option to do both. You're going to get some of the, the paper, the heavy, beautiful 118 pound cotton paper in your system. But I encourage you, if you think that that's the road you wanna go down and have a little bit more to get it while it's on sale. The paper can be a little bit more difficult to find than the system itself. Also, do you have to use the better press inks with their system? No, you can. The inks are very much like an archival ink. The viscosity is a little bit different, but I'm going to be using my Hero Arts cubes today. Dye-based ink. I'm also gonna be using Jacquard. I have the next four, the last four, of their pigment inks. I feel like I'm really close to you. Am I really? Oh, I am really close to you. Hello. <laughs> so I have Jacquard. I, uh, I launched their first three metallic quick drying pigment inks in YouTube number 500. I have the next four and these are the last four of their metallic pigment inks. Now Spellbinders originally, and I think they still may say, no pigment ink with their system. Yes, pigment ink with their system. At least the Jacquard pigment ink. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It looks amazing and it dries super fast. So I'm going to be playing with the four that we have for you today and they'll be on sale and we have an I want it all. In fact, I have a hello free Sizzix gift <laughs> with your I want it all of that ink. But I want to kind of dispel some of the, the, the thoughts that people have been asking, the questions people have been asking. Do I have to use that paper? No. Do I have to buy their inks? No. Try what you have first, especially if you are a budget conscious crafter. This is an investment. It's like a die cutting machine. You want to you want to you want to own it, but then if you need to, and you want the plates for it, so maybe try to find a way to get some of the other product with what you already have. And all you can do is try. Your die based inks by Tim Holtz, by Lawn Fawn, by Hero Arts, by Memento. They all may do a bang up job for you and you may want to have the reinker for wherever for the better press black ink because you're going to get the black ink in your system and if you love that black ink so much spellbinders has other colors of it will you find it here at scrapbooking made simple no not that there's anything wrong with the ink, it's great ink, but we only have so much room for so much stuff and I would rather have more plates for you because <laughs> I can't tell you where to go get plates for this, <laughs> but I can tell you how to use a different ink. So today we're going to be playing with Hero Arts inks, we're going to be playing with Jacquard pigment based inks, we're going to be playing with embossing powders and glue pads and glitters and taking it to a whole nother level. They also, Spellbinders, this, this machine, this tool, well, it's not a machine, this tool was not intended to be a die cutting platform, but it does work without any problem. You just have to change your, change your plates 
and I'm going to use it today as a die cutting system as well because maybe you don't want to grab all your you have your Sizzix machine out or your Spellbinders machine out because you need to run it through that for the better press system to work but then some of the better press plates have dies that allow you to cut the image out and maybe you don't want to go grab the rest of your stuff to make it work. I, I'm going to show you how to make that happen without damaging the system. So I know Spellbinders is probably cringing right now, but we take it a little bit further than, than what a manufacturer perhaps thinks it can or should do. And I leave it up to you to decide how far or how much you want to be able to do with your die cutting machine with your better press system. When we had the go press and foil, I took that as far as I could take it. And, and we leave it to you to decide what, what you, how you want to use your new tools. So I'm going to tilt on down. We're going to get started. I am going to start just very, very simple, but I'm not going to stay too long there. I'm going to move along so we can get into some of the fun stuff. And again, if you haven't seen the beginning video, it is YouTube class number 500. It is long, but again, this is an investment. It's 80 bucks. You want to know whether you really want it or not? It's worth the time to watch before you plunk down your cold, hard cash, only to find that it's not something for you. Watch, whether it be me or Jennifer McGuire or whomever else is doing a video, and then, then make an informed decision. And if you love it as much as we do, well, I think you're gonna love it as much as we do. All right, so now we're gonna play, now that I've dispelled some of the things that that were lots of questions because people, you know, they, they want to know, do I have to use that paper? Do I have to use that ink? Can't I do it another way? Well, sure you can. <laughs> of course you can. All right. So my system, as you can see, is not as pristine as it used to be. My top plate, you know, not as clear and translu or transparent as it was. And my chase, is gotten a little dirty. Am I going to be able to get this off of here? No, no, I'm not. Absolutely not. And underneath mine, right now, I have no shims at all, none. But I know from my machine and playing with it that for at least the beginning, I'm going to want to do one, two, three shims. And then I had cut two pieces of just copy paper. Now I might keep those to the side and see if I, I know I'm gonna need them a little bit later. And then there's one technique where I don't need any of my shims, I have to pull them all the way out. This is a magnetic platform. And see, there you go. It holds your, holds your better press plates in place. And people want to know what makes a, a better press plate different than some of the other plates out there. Well, first off, this is not a die cutting plate. There's no, there's no edge around it. We did use the Creative Expressions Sue Wilson cut and stamp plates, which have the die edge around it and does the transfer. We use that in this system, but Spellbinders, they are just using it truly as a traditional letterpress system. Now they will make a die for some of their, their designs that let you then die cut this out, but this truly is just going to transfer the image. Then there's the, there's the width of the width of the design the lines in the design. Some people have asked, well, can't I just use my regular dies with a, uh, with a squishy and a knock knock and emboss it? You can, but that's not the same look as this. That's a completely different look where you're taking a die and forcing that embossing and pushing those lines into the paper. This is an ink transfer not an embossing like that. This is an ink transfer, and with that super heavy paper, the beautiful cotton paper, and even with ours, you can feel that it has been debossed. With a squishy and a knock-knock, in a, in a, with a regular cutting die, it is an entirely different look. Also, this, let's see. 
my paper down. Well, that's not so bad. This is generally not a, well, it's not. It's not a replacement for your, um, your magnetic platform, for sure. There is a world of difference between your strengths. So right now, everything's holding in place. But if I try to die cut, let's say I wanted to put something down to die cut. Let's say I was going to do this. So this goes with one of their... Man, these are hard. This goes with one of their, their sentiments where you can cut lots of different sentiments all at the same time. So you were going to transfer the, the sentiments and then we can die cut it out. So to do that, I would need to have a cut plate, right? Because I don't want to cut into my base. So if I put my cut plate down and I put my paper down and I put my die down, it falls right off. The magnet in the better press is strong enough to hold the better press plate where you need it. And since you don't need a cut plate for this, put your paper on top, we'll do it. It, it holds, it's plenty strong enough. But as a die cutting system, it does not take the place does not take the place of a magnetic platform. A magnetic platform here from Sizzix to go with your Big Shot, here your cut plate, here your paper, here your die, and nothing moves. I mean, it just doesn't move. That's how strong the, magnetics, uh, the magnets are. If I try to do the same thing here, Again, it's a no-go. So I don't want you to think that because this has a magnetic platform built into it, that it is apples to apples with a Sizzix magnetic platform. Completely different. This is far stronger than this. This does what it needs to do for you to be able to better press but it's not going to hold your dies if you want to die cut and keep it all in the same place. So let's see, let's start. And let's just grab a piece of white paper and let's pick one of our dies. All right, well, I've got this one. And this is one of my exclusives. And I'm just going to ink it up with black ink. I'm not going to do anything special with this. I'm just going to ink it up with black ink. And this is the Jacquard Waterproof Black Ink. When we have it on sale, it's for $3.99. It is an amazing product. And because it's waterproof, it means you can use Copic markers or Couture Creations alcohol ink markers or Spectrum Noirs or watercolor pencils or watercolor paints. And the ink is not going to move. So I've got that, I've got that all in there. I want to make sure that I don't, and I'm going to take my shims out because I want you to see what happens. So I've taken my three shims out and I'm just gonna keep them to the side. Now you're gonna put your better press plate straight down, bam. And you're gonna take your paper. And I think that this is where Spellbinders tapes their paper to their plantain and then sends it down so it stays in place. I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl, especially since I know I'm gonna trim it out. So I just drop it, put my top on, bring my Big Shot machine over, and remember, I have zero shims in there right now, and let's see what happens. Now, as I roll it through, the magnets are going to sink down. The, the top plate is going to sink down. Those magnets go up and down and up and down. So as the pressure of my roller hits 
Look at how easy, I mean, gosh, let me see if I can even back it up. It rolls through so easy, almost too easy. Let me go back a little bit more. So the plate on top is being pressed down. You never want to add pressure to it. You want the machine to do the, the work. You want it to go straight up and down. And as the roller is hitting the paper and the plate, it's pushing down. But remember, I have zero shims in here. And I got a want, want, want. That's because my machine is older and has been loved and it has loosened up over the years. So I'm gonna pull this off and I could add one, two, or three. And each time I add one, my impression will get a little bit better because even though it is just this thick, just that thick, it adds enough so that it has that little bit more of pressure. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink back to this and I'm gonna use that same sheet of paper because paper has two sides. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink back to this. Put it down, drop my paper, drop my lid, and now I've got one shim in there. And let's see if it's any better. It should always feel like an easy roll. Even with all three shims, it should feel like a pretty easy roll. And yes, you can go forward and backwards. It's not gonna make any difference at all. See, a little bit better with one shim. This was with no shims. So let's do it again, and this time I'm gonna add all three. Let's just go for it. So I've got a little lip right here. It allows me to pull it right up. I'm gonna put all three shims in and put it back down. And those shims just stay in there. You only take them out when you change the technique that you're doing if you need to, oh, Stacy, if you need to add or reduce. There will come a time where we play with this where I need to add a few more shims and that's where my copy paper came in. It's better to start with copy paper than take a piece of 100 pound cardstock. Always start with copy paper as your shims and add in what you need in copy paper. So, let's add another piece of white paper. Drop it right over the top. Right here. And send it on through. And I want you to see that even with the three shims, there's a little more tension, but it still is a very easy roll. Now, if you have a switch machine or a vagabond machine, well, it's a press the button kind of roll. <laughs> now, let's see if I got a better impression or if my machine is loose enough that even with the three shims that it came with, I need to add more. Stay, please. Oh, that looks great. So with three shims, I was able to get a great impression. Now I can go in there and I can color all of this if I want. And this is just 100 pound paper. If I took their heavier paper, let's re-ink up. Their heavier paper is going to give you even a deeper impression. Or if I added another shim, my 100 pound paper would also have a deeper impression. So let's put this down. 
I'm a let it fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl. Oh, I just, nope, I good, okay. And drop. And that's an A2 card size. And let's roll it on through. Now, because the paper is heavier than what I was just using, it will have a little bit more, oh, see, I can feel it, a little bit more pressure, which will transfer it even more. I can feel it's not just it's not just stamped on I can feel the depression of the plate and that is on their more expensive paper their letter press paper which is a stunning paper now I could come in and let's drop in some paper shims and those paper shims are going to make up for my paper being a little bit lighter in weight. I'm using 100 pound paper. Their paper is 118 pound on average. I think it's 118 pound. So a little bit more ink. Piece of white paper. No. Drop. White paper. 100 pound, but now I've added a few more shims. So I'm going to have a little bit, and, and just copy paper. Just get sheets of copy paper and add copy paper until you've got the pressure that makes your heart happy. But regardless, it should be a fair, see now I can feel that feels like the same kind of tension I had when I had that 118 pound paper in there. I can feel it, it's still an easy roll. There's still no effort to it, but I can feel the difference. So your machine might not take any shims and you may get an, a, a very crisp, deep impression. You may have an older machine like mine that is loved and loved and loved and it needs a few extra shims. And now, now I can feel, I have the same feeling here as I do here, just because I added the extra shims. You decide what's going to work best for you, and you have to give yourself the opportunity to play. You need to pull it out of the box, grab some paper, and have zero expectation of how things are going to come out until you learn what shims you need to work with for your machine because they're all going to be different. We may all own a big shot machine. We may all own a platinum machine, but we all, they, they come out of the box all the same. <laughs> Everybody's machine out of the box is the same, but then we use them differently. And that is what changes the pressure is how we use it and how often we use it. So I'm just taking a baby wipe to clean this off. And now we've done something very, very, very basic. And this is the, this is the beginning intent on how to use their system. Is this the one? Nope, that's not, this is the one. This is the, this is the beginning on how to use their system. And again, YouTube number 500 will take you through more and more and more. I want to I want to expand on this a little bit. I want to grow on this a little bit. And so, I'm going to pull out Oh, I'm going to pull out this one here. And I'm going to ink it up. I'm not going to ink it with black. I'm going to go ahead and ink it with my Hero Arts Cubes. I am going to need oodles of paper today. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got some oodles cut. Oh, I already need more cut. All right, well, I'll cut it when I get there. So I'm going to ink this up. And this is one of my designs. Well, it's one of my exclusives. 
and there's the image and the sentiment is you brighten my every day the sentiment is separate so if you choose to just do the sentiment on something else you absolutely can the frame that I was using is also mine it has a gift from me to you as the sentiment the frame can be well both of these can be vertical vertical horizontal and on this one the sentiment has a die that will allow you to cut it out so I think I'm going to play with this one for just a minute and we'll, we'll do both of them in color so you can see both of them maybe I should start with this one since I did this one first so let's bring this one back and I'll color this one up first and then we'll do this one. Now I'm going to use my Hero Arts cubes and I'm not going to be doing black. I'm going to take a color that um, I'm happy with that if no matter what I, I always want to color the entire thing up. That way if I accidentally miss a spot I know my lightest color yellow will be there to add ink. So I'm going to color the entire thing up. You may do it in black like we did and go in there and Copic it or Couture Creations Alcohol ink it or gosh, uh, Van Gogh watercolor it or use your, use your watercolor pencils for it or even your colored pencils. So I've got yellow on there because I want to have a color against the entire, uh, the entire image. That way if I accidentally miss a spot, I know it will be at least colored yellow. It won't have a, just an, an empty hole. Then I think I'll take a little bit of my green and I'm just gonna hit some green here and there. It's not gonna be perfect and I'm not trying to get it perfect. I'm just trying to add some green. And my green is a little darker than my yellow. So it's going to lay on top of that yellow and cover that yellow and then maybe a deep blue. Do you think we should try a deep blue? You think that's crazy? And I'm just going to kind of go around and add some deep blue everywhere. I don't want to cover everything up. I want a little bit of that green to come through. I still want a little bit of that yellow to hit. Okay, so I've inked up my plate, and you can see the ink on my plate. That's because the lines are thicker than that of a die cut. They have to be thicker to hold the ink. And when you get your plates, you may have to ink it two or three times, just like a stamp. When you stamp off or you clean your stamp, you might want to just do that a little bit here because after you've inked it three or four times, the ink seems to hold better. It's almost like you're priming it or you're seasoning your, you're seasoning your cast iron pot. You're doing kind of the same thing here. So I've dropped it down here, here, and let's roll it on through. And now I've got all those shims in there. Remember, I've got all those shims in there. Super easy roll. If you have arthritis or difficulty with your hands, there's no pressure in this at all. You can, you can roll this through so easily without any issue. Pop it off. And Bam. And because I've got those extra shims, doesn't sound like that. There's highs and lows. I can feel it debossed in. And that is letter pressing. Hmm. What if I want to do another color real quick? We'll do another color and then we'll change to our other plate because I'm going to use these later. I'm going to keep these handy because I know I'm going to use them. I 
think I'm going to use them. That way I don't have to do this again. Okay, so let's do this in another color. Baby wipe. Baby wipe. See, it's still got some black on there. Baby wipe. But I'm going to be okay with that, and I'm going to pick it up. And again, I'm going to start with my yellow because that's me. Yellow just kind of goes with the cools and the warms. Ooh, Stacy Park. Let's see if I can clean this one off. Hmm, this one's good. So the top of my yellow looks black, but when I come to do it, it's yellow. So I know that I don't have to worry that it's contaminated. So yellow, yellow, yellow. Hello, yellow. They're like, don't do it right on the, <laughs> that's how I get all mine dirty. Yellow, yellow, yellow. How about green, green, green. And just hit and miss. And how about maybe a little orange, orange, orange. As James would say, this would be for the ladies who don't necessarily like to color. Because once you've done it, you really don't have to color. And then maybe just a little bit of raspberry. I put a little bit of orange back. All right, you never know what you're going to get, but it's only paper. But you can see the ink on my plate. You can see the ink on my plate. Drop paper. Lid. Machine. And roll. A little bit of pressure once it hits the paper and the plate. You'll feel a little bit of pressure, but it's still a super simple roll. There we go. So now we have our choice. Do we like the blues? Do we like the pinks and reds? All right, let's move this one aside and let's bring back here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's ink this one up. So yellow, yellow, yellow. And this one, the lines are even closer together and a little bit heavier. So you really can see the ink. Look at how close those lines are. You can really see the inked image. Now we'll add some green, green, green. Where, and I, you know, my green is gonna go onto my flower a little bit. I get that, I'm okay with that. I, where I see kind of a little bit of a leaf, I'm gonna add a little bit of green. I might go a little darker green, just to give some contrast. Just kind of where I see some leaves. So my leaf isn't all just one color. And then I might use my, my red, ooh, Stacy, my red royal. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna use my red royal and kind of come in here. And just add a little bit of color.
Can you see how I've inked it? I've still got my yellow, some of my yellow coming through. I've got my greens going on. I've got some red up there. And now I'm going to send it on through. Write down. Paper. Machine. Roll. You'll feel a little bit of tension. Keep rolling. And let's see what we got. It looks like it's an engraving, which is really what Better Press started out as, as an engraving. And you can feel the image. What do you think? So simple to do. Like I said, James, SMS guy James would say, this is for the ladies who don't want to color, who don't like to color. <laughs> James only likes to color with colored pencils. That's his jam. That's where he is. That's what he loves. And he doesn't want to get too inky or, I mean, he would do this because he wouldn't have to go back in and really color anything unless he wanted to. In fact, I think he might be playing with this downstairs right now. So let's cut another, let's cut some paper. Oh, I still have one lowly sheet left before I have to cut something. Okay. So let's do it one more time and change up our colors a little bit. And I'm the girl who likes yellow, yellow, yellow everywhere because it ensures that no matter, I don't miss a spot. If I don't, if I don't hit this entire thing with another color, I know it will have yellow as opposed to it just having a hole. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And then some green, green, green. And I'm just going for it because I start with my lightest color first and then maybe, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe some, should we do it in the blue? Just a spot of orange. spot of orange maybe and then a spot of blue for contrast okay you can really see that it's colored let's drop and roll and then we're moving on. I wanted you to see you don't necessarily have to use the Spellbinders ink unless you want to. And if that's the ink you choose to use, go for it. But you want to have options. And I could have mixed this with my Memento, with my Tim Holtz, with my Lawn Fawn, with my um, I don't know who else makes inks. Whoever makes inks. I think Catherine Pooler has inks. I, there's a million inks out there. All dye-based inks. Pick the color that makes your heart happy. Doesn't matter what brand you use. You can mix in between the brands. You choose the colors that make your heart happy, regardless of the manufacturer, as long as it's a dye-based ink. Roll it through. Now I might not like this one. I don't know. I got a little extravagant with the colors. <laughs> but we'll finish it no matter what. Oh. Okay, I'm actually okay with that. It's 
So a little more tropical. I kind of like it. Point is, you've got options. You're not limited. Blend and mix and use. And remember, it's only white paper. Clean up your plate. Will you get it all off your plate? Probably not. You might be able to use some hand sanitizer. Let me see if I've got some hand sanitizer. You might be able to use some hand sanitizer to get it up and off if it's really, really bothering you. It doesn't really, really bother me. But I'm able to get it off better with hand sanitizer. All right, let's change directions. Let's use black paper. And let's come in and we'll start here. And instead of a dye-based ink, now I need to use a metallic pigment-based ink. I need that. See, a dye-based ink, when you're using a dye-based ink, dye-based inks are meant to absorb into. Meant to absorb into, and that's why they dry so fast because it's absorbing into the paper. So if you put a dye-based ink on black paper, well, this is what you get. That black is absorbing all the color. You see nothing. It looks like little wet spots. <laughs> looks like Ellie's been here. <laughs> Ellie's my dog. So you can't use a dye-based ink on a dark cardstock, whether it be black or blue or green, it just absorbs in. And because the color of the cardstock is darker than the color of the ink and the ink is meant to absorb in, it just hides it, it's gone. However, a pigment-based ink sits on top. A pigment-based ink sits on top, which is why white ink is typically a pigment-based ink because it sits on top. Jacquard purchased Clear Snap, and Clear Snap made color box inks. So Jacquard is now bringing out, slowly but surely, they're bringing out their own line of inks. We launched the first three colors. This is silver. The one I used here was champagne. We launched the first three colors in YouTube number 500. And these are the last four. So I've got copper, champagne, silver, and bronze. And I'm just gonna go right over my little wet spot there with my bronze. Now these are fast drying pigment inks. And I said, Asher, Asher from Jacquard, if we're gonna do these, you have to do the reinkers. I'm not doing them unless I get a reinker to go with it. So he did the, he does the black waterproof dye based, and we have the reinker to go with it. And he does the white frost that we used when we had the gas and paper. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful in that YouTube. And I have the reinker for it. So every pad that he does, he will have the reinker. And these retail for $5.99 each. And then when we put them on sale, they're under five bucks. And for a metallic, that's a super hot price. And look at the colors. Now that really is bronze. <laughs> it is, and this really is champagne, and this is silver, and that's, uh, that's copper. The first three colors we launched were platinum, rose gold, and gold. And the rose gold really was rose gold. So I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna keep this handy just in case I need it. I'm gonna use these here, and instead of white paper, we're going to use black paper. Do I wanna use silver? Do I, I don't know. I never know which one I wanna use. Which color? 
I don't know. That, that bronze, that bronze is pretty smoking hot. So again, I'm going to ink up. So brand new colors. This is a global launch. We're the first ones to have it. And I want to make sure I get it real good. You think that's good? This is big and this is big. <laughs> My hands are not big enough for these. All right, well, I'm going to give them a try. It's only black paper. Let's see what we get. I might have put too much on. Inky hands are happy hands. Bring over my better press system. Put my plate on. Oh, I felt them just turn the lights off. I think it's going home time for everybody. My paper, black, 100 pound cardstock. Nothing special about it. I've got all my shims in. And I'm gonna wheel it on through. Send it on through. Oh, a little bit of tension. That's good. We want that. We want if, if it goes through too easy, then it hasn't done anything. A little bit of tension. And let's see what we've got. Did I ink it too much? Was I too generous? I put through two pieces of paper. Oh, Stacy. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, two pieces of paper. It's really, yeah, nope, I needed to do one piece of paper. See, I went all the way through the back. Oh, let's do it again. Stacy, see, I even got it. I even lost that. Well, we'll try it and see if it goes through okay. Inking it up really good. I think that's really good. We'll try. And I can tell you that this has been embossed. This side feels okay, so I'm just gonna try and do it on that side and see if I can salvage that piece of paper. Down. Paper down. And let's see what we get. A little less tension. <laughs> oh, so much better. Hello, you. Aren't you just pretty? With a P and a U and an R. Pretty. O M G. Okay, and because it's quick drying, this isn't going to have to sit for hours and hours and hours. Let's see. Oh, am I, do I do I do it? Do I do it? <laughs> Not bad. I can tell you it's just slightly, but even though I feel that it's slightly tacky, it's not smearing. That's not your everyday, that is not your everyday metallic ink. And the longer it sits, the drier it is. But even from the get-go, I'm not smearing. That's a ha And it's not all over my finger. That's a happy day. Okay, love me some of that, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's clean it off and let's do it one more time with another color. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> Yeah, the coffee's still, I'm still going. <laughs> Wait, let me have a sip. Oh no. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
It is cinnamon dolce latte, which really means that it's really not very much coffee. It's a lot of milk and a lot of cinnamon flavor with a little bit of coffee, but since I only drink one cup a day, a little bit extra goes a long way. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a quick clean. And I'm gonna go again using a different color. How about the silver? I do have another plate, but I'm just gonna use the same one. It would be very convenient just to pull the other plate out and use it, but I won't. You only have one plate, so I'm gonna use one plate. Ink, 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 and this is pigment based. Will this look, uh, will it work on white paper? Sure it will, absolutely. But pigment is really meant for your darker papers or to throw embossing powder on top of. Embossing powder, what's she talking about? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Clean that up in a minute. That thing just loves to fall down. There we go. And a piece of black paper, ideally one that I didn't just put my fingers all over. Let's see if I've got enough. Drop, lift, up, and send through. And as it hits, You'll feel a little bit of tension, but you're still going to be able to roll like you're, you're, you know, at the craps table, <laughs> hoping to hit a lucky number. You roll it right on through. You roll that machine. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. Again, it's beautiful. But... What if I wanted to throw embossing powder down on it? Do I have time? It is quick dry after all. Now let's give it up to our friends at Sizzix, who 10 minutes before I started taping this video, I called and said, I'd like to have some, I'd like to use some clear embossing powder and you have it and you're close to me so you can get it to me super fast. Um, I'd like to give it away for free <laughs> if they do the I Want It All bundle of the Jacquard. And um, ta-da, it's Taylor said, well, let me look and see how much we have. At that point, I hadn't told her I had wanted to give it away for free. I said, what's the best price you can do on it? And she said, well, let me see how much I have. I need to make a little funnel. Let me see how much I have. She looked it up and she told me and I said, oh my gosh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. And I'd like to include it as part of the, as part of the I Want It All bundle of the inks. So basically you're getting it for free. And she told me the price they could sell it to me for so that I would be able to give it to you for free. And I said, sold. <laughs> This is a clear embossing powder that I'm putting over it. I could, because it's a pigment-based ink, put any color embossing powder. If you have red or blue or purple or whatever color you have, it's not gonna show through because the, the embossing powders, most of them are opaque. So the pigment-based ink allows the embossing powder to hold very similar to what a Versamark would do. So if you've got a pigment-based ink and you want to emboss something with a colored embossing powder, go for it. Use that pigment-based ink as your stamp and then put your embossing powder right over the top. So then I take my trusty dusty Sizzix heat tool. It's getting really tattered, but it looks loved, right? Every time they see it, they're like, would you like another one? I'm like, no, I bought this one myself. <laughs> and I send it on through, I heat it up, and I slowly see it change. So 
So if you have an embossing powder or a, a pigment-based ink that doesn't dry fast, Throwing embossing powder over the top of it may be your go-to. It may be the way you deal with it because once you've embossed over the top of it, it's not going to smear. And I you have to heat all of it. Because if I don't add enough heat, there's no heat up here. See the difference in the color? This is now back to my silver. If there's no heat, the powder literally wipes away. So you have to be sure to add enough heat to all of it so that your powder does not wipe away. And now I've got silver here, and no matter what I do, it won't smear because now it's encapsulated in embossing powder. And what is embossing powder? It's finely ground plastic. That's all it is, is a super finely ground plastic that when you add heat from a heat tool, not a blow dryer, but when you add heat from a heat tool, it melts it. A blow dryer isn't going to be hot enough to do it. And if you add this to your hair, you're going to singe it. This is not a paint stripper either. This is just enough heat to get your to get your embossing powder to, to melt. So I ruined this one because I wanted to show you what happens if you don't heat. The embossing powder just goes away. Now I still have silver underneath it, so it's not the end of the world. <laughs> and my silver did not smear. Right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, let's try, let's try this one in a metallic and see what we get. Um, do we want to do this one in the, maybe in the copper? Let's see what happens. So lots of, ink it up really good. And your pigment-based ink is also water-based, so you're gonna be able to wash it right off. I'm on my, this is my craft mat. I was the very first one. It is non-stick on the top, but non-slip on the bottom. This is not taped down. I was the very first person to put silicone on the back, oh, look at, I got glitter going on, on the back side of my mat. Since then, there have been quite a few. Um, one very, very recently <laughs> that um, they've been adding silicone to the back side of their mat, and what it makes it is that it doesn't move. But you have heat resistant and non stick on the top. So, this is my craft mat. It's a scrapbooking made simple exclusive. I manufactured it because nobody at the time had it. And so I try not to manufacture things that are already out on the market. Why? I mean, I'd rather support the manufacturer and as opposed to going around them and private labeling everything. So I only do private label on things that either I can't find, they don't exist, the price is way too high, <laughs> Other than that, I believe in supporting the manufacturer. If we don't support our manufacturers and we're buying at some of the Ally Express and Alibaba places that just knock them off like crazy, when they're no longer in business, we really only have ourselves to look at and say, hmm, I wonder why they went out of business. Gosh, I really liked their, I really liked their adhesive, but you were buying all their dyes <laughs> on uh, another, you know, a site, a copy a site that copies and infringes. Always keep that in mind. Somebody had to design that and manufacture that first. So I'm gonna send this on through and let's see what we get. So I don't know if I'll do my mats again once they're sold out because now there is a manufacturer. There's a few of them that make a very similar mat and I could buy them from them 
And, and that may be what we choose to do. Oh, wow. It really looks like a, like a vintage engraving. Holy smokes, artichokes, that's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. So I did the two of them. Look at that. So black is very different. Black paper behaves very differently. Do I wanna, okay, I know you're like, just move on, but I, I'm gonna do this one in the, in the copper too, cause that copper just screams yum. And maybe I'll do one in the silver. Okay, so I'm just gonna add, so I didn't clean this. I'm just putting this right on top of the copper, this is the bronze. So I'll have a little bit of copper and a little bit of bronze on this one. Let's see what it looks like, because this is just stunning. Piece of black paper, ideally one piece, not two. I feel like there's, I feel like there's two there. No? All right, I'm gonna say it's one. Right on, send it on through and let's see what we get. So can you see how easy this is to do and how quickly you can make projects? You could just make panel after panel after panel and then put them aside for when you wanna use them. Or you could make a bunch of these panels and then when you have a crafty day with friends who maybe don't craft as intensively as you do, pull them out for them and let them play and make a finished card with them. Oh yeah, see? That color is gorgeous. So in the, this is the copper. And this is the bronze and they are different colors. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put those over there. I am gonna pull out one that is not exclusive to us. I think I'm gonna pull this one out because it is my favorite background out of the Spellbinders release and it's not mine. This is one of the Spellbinders. So we'll have it for sale and I think I'm gonna do this one in silver. And I'm just gonna go over and make sure I've got the whole thing. It's hard when the plate is silver and the ink is silver. So I'm gonna hope that I don't miss anything. All right, let's give that a whirl and see what happens. Oh, I'm out of black paper. All right, let's cut a few pieces. And bam, I have black paper again. All right, let's pick this up, let's put it down. And again, this is not one of the exclusives. This is one of the spell binders that you may see everywhere. I thought it was so pretty. Drop my paper, drop my lid, and let's send it on through. Okay. Oh yeah, see, this is beautiful. Look at the, I want you to appreciate how detailed it is and how well that detail transferred with that pigment-based ink on black paper. That's a holy smokes artichokes moment. 
That is a wow, wow, wow. And then it has this. Maybe we'll do something with this to go with. And then, ho, oh, not bad, not smearing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one aside and we're gonna move on. It's like, move on, move on to what? I have more. Let me clean up my mess. All right, so how about we go into glitter? Glitter, ooh, you're like, I like glitter. Me too. Um, do I wanna use this one? So we'll start with the, or we'll start with the one we've been using, which is, where did I put it? Anybody see where I put it? I know it's not that one, because that one's, oh, here it is. I was gonna say that one's not dirty. This one's dirty. <laughs> I'm trying to keep two clean so the ones I send you to our winner winners get clean ones. <laughs> okay, so our essentials glue pad. You know it, I love it, can't live without it. Part of my crafting experience. It's in my must haves, it's actually in my do not touch bin. I have a do not touch bin here and that means what's in there nobody's allowed to touch. Otherwise, people, you know, they can come up and borrow what's in my YouTube room, what's in my, my little bins over there. But there's one bin, and it literally says, <laughs> it literally says, do not touch. Not just on one side, but on the other side, too. Get the hint. <laughs> it's like all the things that I need all the time. All right, so let's ink up this. This is the Essentials glue pad. It comes like this, where it's a blank pad, empty pad right here, glue right here. You don't dump all of this onto that when you get it. You only use enough of this for the job that you're doing. You don't wanna put this on all here and then come back a month later and say, why is it not working? Well, because you don't use the glue that way. Here's my pad, it has this little plasticky thing. You wanna, you wanna keep that. That keeps it from drying out faster. It keeps it nice and a little bit airtight. Here's the glue that it comes with, and I only put on as much as I need for what I'm doing. Now, the longer you use the, oh yeah, see mine's really gluey. I don't even know that I need to put any. The longer you use the glue pad, eventually you'll have plenty of glue on here so that you need just, I mean, just a little bit. A little bit of do ya. And I kind of move it around with my fingers. And I'm gonna ink this up as if it was a stamp, just like we've been doing. I'm gonna ink it up with the glue. This plate is rather, I mean, I didn't, I, I knew it was gonna be large. I wanted it big. I wanted you to be able to do a couple different sizes besides A2. You saw the A2 um, was a little bit smaller than this, so you could go bigger. Okay, I think I've got plenty of glue on here. Now we can grab a piece of white paper. We'll do it both white and black. And I know from me playing that I probably need one more shim. I probably need to grab a piece of copy paper. And I know that because I need that glue to make a really good transfer, I'm gonna cut myself one more shim. Now, I'm, I might be wrong, it might be okay with the shims that I have, but I'm gonna try it with one more shim and see what happens. Right now it's only paper. There's my other two shims. 
probably be helpful if they were at least close to the same size. All right, so now, now I have three paper shims in there. And I have three of the Spellbinders shims in there. It might be too much. I might have to take one out. But like I said, I won't know until I try. Drop my mat in. And even with three shims, I'm still fine putting my mat in. Let's grab my plate. It's been glued up. Let's grab my white paper, put it face, well, there's no face up or face down with white paper now, is there? And let's send it on through. I'm gonna feel, let me go back just a little bit so you can see, I'm gonna feel a little more tension but still not enough to cause it to be a difficult roll. And with any luck, I've transferred the image with my glue. And because I had ink on it before, it transferred the image with a little bit of ink so I can see my image on there. If it was just glue, it would be transparent and you'd have to get a, a little bit of a, a reflection off of it to see. So I'm gonna let this go tacky because this glue is very special glue. It's two-way glue. It is the one time in your life you want to go tacky. It needs to sit for a few minutes all the way up to 30 minutes, easy peasy, before you add any foil or flakes to it. It has to get tacky. So you want to be tacky when you are using this glue. I'm going to ink it up again and we're going to send it through on black paper and see what we get. down. So why do I need to add an extra shim for my glue and I didn't for my ink? Because of the viscosity of the glue, I really need it to get a little bit more pressure on it than I did my ink pads. Just a little bit more pressure. And you'll know when you've gone too far like when I did and I had two pieces of cardstock in there, immediately, I'm like, the minute I pulled it out, it's like, oh, yep, there's a problem. <laughs> Took out one of the cardstocks and ran it through and it went through beautifully. Okay, let's see what we get. So if you have trouble seeing, you can always put a little bit of color on your plate, whether it be a stamp or a better press plate or a foil plate, whatever you're doing in your, your letter pressing, because then you can see better where the ink is. You can add a little bit of ink to your, your image and then come in with your Essentials glue pad over the top. And that ink will transfer with the glue, making it easier for you to see. So now I've got two of these. And while I'm letting these go tacky, let's grab this one. And let's ink this one up and we'll do the same. We'll do white and black. Now I have quite a bit of ink or glue on here. I'm going to try and do this without adding any and see if I can get it done or if I needed to add just a little bit. So this glue pad is about three years old. I never replace the glue pad unless the girls make me. <laughs> They're like, it looks bad, Stacy. just open a new one. But you can buy the reinker for the glue or the, the glue itself. You can buy just the bottle of the glue itself. All right, so let's see. Let's grab a black one since it's right there. Put 
stretch that down right over the top. I've got extra shims going on only because my machine needs it. Yours may not. You may be busting your machine out for the very first time. Oh my gosh, enjoy it, but don't be nervous. Just go for it, your brand new die cutting machine. And yes, the clear plates that they send with you, they're supposed to be meant to be cut into. You're supposed to cut into to them. Although, <sighs> Kev, keeper of the secret sauce, you guys cut into my do not cut plate. Ah, <laughs> they were here the other day. <laughs> Kevin and um, Tada, it's Taylor and Chris. I don't have a name for Chris yet. I'm thinking maybe Confident Chris because I made him do a demo and he confidently took it on. All right, so I think I got enough in there. We'll see once I, once I know for sure. I'm gonna put this one over here and now let's do it one more time and let's do it in the white. And by that time, my others should be pretty much good to go. So I still haven't added any more glue. We're just gonna try. It's only paper. If it doesn't work, I'll just do the back side. Ink it up again, glue it up again, and do the back side. Nobody will ever know. Oh, but I'm out of white paper. Nobody will ever know that um, that I'm hiding something when I tape it down. Once you tape it down, they can't see what was on the back side, right? Right. All right. down, white, I'm going to put my lid on this now, my hands are a little sticky, my lid, and let's send it on through. Easy roll right back at you. I think I'm good. Let's let it go tacky and see what happens. So I did this one first and the glue is water soluble. So you can wash your plate. You can take a baby wipe to your plate. The glue is water soluble. So it's not a type of glue that you can use on fabric because the minute you wash it, well, <laughs> it's gonna wash right out. <laughs> but you can let kids use it and um, your senior center group use it because it's water soluble. Everything here I'm using today right now, it looks like is water soluble. I don't think I have anything that um, would be a permanent type of ink that would stain. All right, so there we go. Here's the first one that I did. Now I'm gonna bring over the, the glitter that we used the other week. In fact, that was on YouTube number 504, and that is getting ready to ship. We're starting to get ready to fill those orders next week. The glitter, everything's here. So five, we're on 506 right now. We're gonna start filling 504. Yes. Okay, so do I want that dark of a, I don't know if I want that dark of a green. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna drizzle. Now when you use this glitter, it is a micro fine glitter. Do not have your ceiling fan on, your air conditioner. Do not sneeze and less, less is more. So look it, I drizzled just a tiny little bit on there. I'm not gonna move it around until I get all my colors down. So maybe now I use, hmm. Do I want this one? 
Maybe now I use the dark blue. Think wrong, think wrong, right? And a little bit. A little bit of my dark blue. Just. And if you don't want to do it this way, you can take a little spoon that you get from um, Baskin Robbins or the back of your tweezers. And your tweezers will let you do it too. There is a difference between microfine glitter and ultrafine glitter. And we had a whole lesson about that the other day, didn't we? <laughs> microfine glitter is the same as a chunky glitter or an ultrafine glitter. It's just ground finer. Just like embossing powders, it's just ground finer. And that means because the granules are finer, it can cling to the finest of lines. A chunkier embossing powder will not, cl it'll cling to these lines, but you'll lose the definition. You won't keep the same shape. A microfine lets you keep that shape. And now I'm acknowledging because I'm using multiple colors that I'm not gonna be able to put it back into I can't put the gold back here because it's going to be all mixed in with the different blues. So I have to be okay with maybe having a mishmash pot. And this is why less is more. Because I don't want to have too much left over after I'm done moving it around. I love this mermaid color. Okay, I have way too much glitter on here, but that's okay. I used so little, you'll never know. Now when I bring it up, looks like a hot mess until I start to move it. So this, this is for my friend Jess, <laughs> who wanted to know how the glitter works. And what makes it different? I got an email from a Jess who asked what makes the glitter different? That is what makes the glitter different. Now, I can take my inexpensive makeup brush and kind of gather what I didn't use. He told you I had a lot. You're like, that's not a lot. It really isn't, but in the scheme of things. And now I can just take it around and anywhere I feel sticky, if I still feel there's a little sticky going on, I want to move that glitter over until that stickiness goes away. And now I'll have even less glitter. And then I'm just going to go goodbye. And this is what I have. I cut it really close there, but we'll cut that off. Look at how pretty it is. And the glitter is permanent. Once it's down, it's down. Look, Ma, no mess. This is not like M&Ms that really do melt in your hands. They really do. But then some of you are gonna say, well, who leaves them in their hands long enough to let them melt? <laughs> Look at that. And it stays. It is, it is glittering without making a glittery mess. And it's beautiful. But it all has to do with allowing the glitter or the glue to go tacky. No tacky glue. This is a no can do. If the glue is not tacky, when you put your glitter down, if you're too fast, then it just literally wipes all the way off. It's a special glue and a special glitter. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Jess can see 
the difference between a regular glitter and a microfine glitter. And if not, then you can always send an email back to us and ask again, <laughs> and I'll do my best to explain it. And I'm just drizzling my color. And then I think we'll add some gold in there. This could almost be for Christmas. You can see I like my gold. It's the one that's <laughs> that I've used the most of. Okay, what do you think? Good? Oh, done. All right, so I pull it up. It looks like a hot mess until I start to move it. And look at it, hold on to the detail. Uh-uh, can't do this with just any glitter. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Take my finger anywhere I feel it's a little tacky. So I can tell it's a little tacky up there. Move it up there. I can tell it's a little tacky over here. Move it up there. Grab my inexpensive brush. And call it done. Oh my gosh, is that pretty. And that detail of those flowers is still there. It just sparkles and shines, whether you do the black or you do the white. All right, let's do these two and then we're gonna move on. Hmm, so what color? So how about, how about, how about a little bit of, how about a little bit of green? I'll do the light green. Easier for me off the back of my tweezers. We used to have these really cool little spoons, but then US Art Quest went out of business. And then maybe a little bit of a little bit of a light blue. A little bit of a light blue, maybe up around here. And then maybe a little of the turquoisey. Maybe a little bit of the silver. And let's see what we get. And 
as I move it around, my image appears. And then I start to move it with my finger. And where there's some tackiness is where it's going to adhere to. And if I need to get a little bit more out of a pot because it's, ta see, it's tacky right there. I can tell you it's tacky right there. If I need to get a little bit more because I was really good about not using too much, I can add a little bit more. Oh yeah, see, better. Now that tackiness is gone. And you can see I added green to it and that green held. They're so beautiful. All done in the glitter. And it's easy. Let's do this one last one. And let's do... Let's go a little darker green. darker green going on. Tap in a little bit of the lighter green just for some contrast. And then how about, how about this pink? And literally as the pink is falling, it's already holding to the design. Okay, I'm gonna start with that and see if I need any more. But it does, it looks just like a hot mess. until you bring it to life. Move it around. If you need, then you take your finger and move it around. A little bit more green up here. I can feel it's a little tacky. Maybe you think it will hold a little bit of gold in the center? I don't know that it's gonna hold the color, but I'm willing to give it a whirl. This one I'm gonna move with my finger in there. Yeah, it held the gold. It's just a little tacky. But it's so pretty. And bam. You decide. Truth is, you don't have to decide. You can do it all. But truth is, we're not done. Look at all we've done. Look at all we've done. And we're not done. What if I wanted to take these? start with these and I wanted to add either the pigment based ink or the glitter 
to this project? What if I wanted to do something like that? But I've already got this down, but I needed to center. How am I gonna do that? Ooh, let's see, what do we want? That one's too small. What if we use one of theirs? What if we use the hello? This is part of one of the bundles that we've got, the hello. Love the hello. <laughs> it's not an exclusive to us, but I love it. And what if I wanted to, now I've already done this. So when we, when we generally send it through, we generally put our, our plate here and our paper there and here, but I need that hello to be centered in that negative space. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna reverse my order. I'm gonna hold it down. Put my paper down first, but then my paper might move. So, one of the most talked about hacks from YouTube number 500 is my washers. I sent Mr. SMS out. So, because you, if you use this as a stamp platform, Obviously, your paper's going to go down first, but you can't use magnets because this is magnetized. That's not going to work for you. So I had to think, what could I use that would hold, it would the hold to the magnet, but not be so thick that it would impede on my pressing down if I was using it as a stamp platform. And in YouTube number 500, I broke out my washers. I sent Mr. SMS with a magnet to the hardware store and I said do not come back until you find washers that will that will hold to a magnet because you don't know what the alloys they use these days are who knows a copper penny I'm sure is no longer copper right <laughs> so I said we're just gonna hold magnets we're gonna use these as the opposite side of a magnet that will then allow my paper to hold in place but isn't thick enough to impede when it presses down. Ho, ho, ho. And it's cheap. And you might already have these in a, I don't know, garage um, toolbox somewhere. So I had Mr. SMS buy me several sizes because you just never know for small projects little pieces you might need little magnets or little washers for a bigger piece you might need bigger washers and i can put down as many as i want because i want to say they were a buck 99 a a a bag if that go to harbor freight and they're probably even less than that washers are cheap and get the job done so now i don't have to worry about my paper moving because it's being held down it's being held down by washers. See, Mickey, turn it up flat, turn it up. And my paper doesn't move. That means that I can take that hello, hello, and I can ink it up with, let's go ahead and let's do, oh, should we do the copper? Ooh, okay, let's try the copper and see. I may ruin it, you know, but it's only paper and I'm willing to give it a whirl. I'm gonna ink this up with the copper. Ink, 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 ink. It's got some super fine lines, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to hope that that's good. And I'm going to pick it up. And this is where I might lose it. I'm going to kind of decide where I want to drop it. And then I'm just going to let it go. You're like, oh, be careful. I know. Nope. I'm crooked, but you know what? It's handmade. Let's send it on through and see what we get. Oh, 
push it on through. Oh, I might have too many. Oh, I might have too many shims in here with my washers attached. Hmm. No, I think it's okay. We'll see. Yeah, I'm off center, but you know what? God loves a trier. Hello. <laughs> I've now got my metallic in the center. Oh yeah, you can see from the washers. <laughs> I probably could take a shim out. So now I've got my metallic going on in the center and I already did this piece, but I came back to do this one. Let's do this. Love that, I'm gonna do something with that, I think. Let's do this. Maybe I take a shim out. I'm going to take one of my paper shims out because I've got those washers in there. And let's clean up my hello. And this time, let's do it with glue. So I've cleaned up my hello. I've got my washers here handy. I'm gonna grab my glue pad. You know what, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue because it's been sitting for just a little bit, but I don't need to add much. Just kind of a little ZZZ, that's it. Just enough to kind of re-moisten the top. Yeah, that feels good. And with my microfine glitter, So I'm gonna bring this on over. Put my washers on it to hold it in place because you can't use magnets. You can't go get your little magnets from your stamp positioner because this is a magnet. Your plate here is a, that's a magnet. Put my little washers down which are magnetized, there we go. Take my hello, and let's see if I do a better job dropping it. I'm gonna go there. I don't have to worry about my paper sliding around because I've got those washers holding me in place. I took out a shim. We'll see how well I do. I don't have to go all the way through because my hello stops. Oh, we'll make sure we get it all the way. There we go. And hopefully I have enough pressure to transfer my glue. Now I'm gonna let this one go tacky. And while I let this one go tacky, I'm gonna bring this one over. And I'm gonna hold it in place. And I'm gonna take the one that comes with it, which is, this one's mine, and it says, um, oh, 
Stacy. I can't read it upside down. I should turn it backwards. Um, you brighten up my every, or you brighten my every day is what this one says. So I'm going to do the same thing. Let's add a little bit of glue. And I'm going to drop it. Well, I'm going to drop it right there and see if we'll be able to read it. And send it on through. Don't put your finger there. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right, let's pull it out. Take my washers off. Pop this one up. We'll see, because I went over the top of the image. So I'm going to let this one sit for a minute. While I let this one sit for a minute, I'm going to bring this one over. Put my washer so it holds it in place. Don't want it to move. Look at see, my paper doesn't move. That's a happy day. And let's do the same one, only this time. Let's not use the glue, let's use some ink. And do we just want to do black? I know I'm tempting fate, aren't I? <laughs> the, all this has to do is go bloop and it's over. <laughs> but a girl likes to live on the wild side sometimes. <laughs> if I was smart, I'd have this over here and be doing that that way, but heavens, why? <laughs> Let's see what we get. I'm gonna drop it. Cover it up. So just because you've run it through once doesn't mean you can't run it through again. There we go. Back, probably should back up a little bit, yeah. brighten my every day. There it is. Done. Um, okay, so we've done this one with the metallic. We've done this one. Let's do our glitter on these and see what we get. Hmm, should I use? Should I use the red? I'm gonna use the red glitter and see what we get. Oh, 
I didn't, well, it's okay. I didn't let it go enough tacky. Right there on that O. But I think it's going to be okay. Ha, 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 Right? Hello. Almost looks like foil, doesn't it? Hello. Okay, so I've got that one. Then I did this one. And this one maybe we'll do, gosh, what color should we do this one in, right? Hmm. Oh, I'm tough. I don't know, you think maybe s silver might work? I wanna use gold, but I'm afraid the gold won't come through. Well, we'll try it. And that dark, the green is, this is too Christmassy of a green to go with it. But I'm not sure I'll love that green. That's more than enough. You know what? It's there. There you go. No problem, you can completely read that. Again, looking like it's foiled. Well, that's a happy day. I like this one. This one is, I'm loving that and I'm loving this one. And I'm loving this one. <laughs> And these were all done after the fact. Um, we could do, so I'll do this one. Oh, see, I want to do this one too. Hmm. I don't know, I can't do all of them, right? But I think I'll do maybe those two. And where's that? Okay, so this one says I'm grateful for you. It's meant to go with this one. But I'm going to do it on this. And I'm going to die cut it out. So I might do it on black paper. And what do I want? Do I want it to be, do I want it to be? Do I want it to be? Well, it's only a little bit of black paper. So if I do it in the same copper, this one hasn't been used yet though, it's not been primed up. Whoop, it's only black paper and it's a little piece of black paper at that. Okay, so let's Put it down. I don't need the washers, but I don't know that I'm going to add that extra shim back in right now. I think I'm just going to go for it. Let's 
send it on through. Oh, I think it might need that extra shim. Oh, no, it's good. Then I'm going to plop it off. I'm going to bring over my cutting pads. And because I'm going to die cut this, I know I have to take out all my shims. See, if I try to die cut this, so there's my plate. My die. my plate I know that if I try to send this through it's going to be too thick yeah see look it won't even take it that's my machine saying wait a minute your platform is wrong and since this isn't a Sizzix platform I know I need to start removing shims. And for my machine, for my machine, it is removing all of my shims. The Spellbinders ones, the ones that I did, all my shims. Now I probably have moved this, but we're just going to go for it anyway. And I certainly could pull over without any question my magnetic. But I don't want you, from Sizzix, I don't want you to think that this will go through. And bam. Cut. And I can put it right in there. Or I can take it and, okay, where did I put it? Can you guys see where I actually put the, the die? Here. So let's clean it off. Okay, pretty clean. Good enough for me. Let's add some glue to it. Probably got enough glue going on. Cut a piece of we'll cut a piece of black paper again. Now I know because I'm not die cutting, I need to add all my shims back in. Because I'm not die cutting, so spellbinder shim. Spellbinders better press shim. Spellbinders better press shim. Stacy shim. Stacy shim. And one more Stacy shim because I know that I'm trying to do my glue and I want to make sure that it makes a good transfer. Put that back in place. There we go. There we go. Bring over my lid. There we go. And send it on through. Oh yeah. That doesn't feel so bad.
And as my paper shims compress down, you're like, how thin can a paper shim get? Well, every time I add more pressure to it, that paper compresses a little bit more. You will just have to cut yourself a new piece of paper. Okay, I can see it. You see it? Let's let it get a little tacky. And clean this up and this time I will bring over my magnetic platform so before I decide to die cut I need to do my glitter because I used my glue you could use foil or flakes I think I'm gonna use this really pretty blue. And hopefully I've got it tacky enough. It's better to leave it a little bit longer than go too fast, but. the extra away because I only used one color. Oh man, that looks good. That's just shiny, shimmery happiness. And now I can take my Sizzix Big Shot with my cup plate, and this is my magnetic platform, and put it down and center my center my die, and it's not gonna move because I don't have to put any washers down because this is a magnetic platform from Sizzix. And another cup plate over the top. And so even when I tweaked it that way, My die didn't move. That's the weirdest thing. I must have used that one. That's the weirdest thing. Let me, oh, we'll just rotate it. That's the one I used to send it through. Okay, there we go. And I was looking at a mirror image. All right, and this should have cut it right out. I didn't lose my glitter. It'll pop right on top of that one. I did this one with the silver. The pigment inks from Jacquard are beautiful and they are quick drying and they do what they say they're gonna do. And they're just, they give you that, they give you that, that etched look it's beautiful okay so I didn't do these although I really want to um, let me grab some adhesive real quick hello Stacy tape where did you go so I could put foam tape on this one so it pops I don't have any now I'm just gonna put it down it out to what I want it to be and 
And because it's oversized, I can trim it to whatever I want it to be. And then decide how I want to finish it off. Do I have any paper down here that makes my heart happy? Ooh, this one might. Hello, you. Come out. Mmm, too green. I needed a more blue. This one might be too blue. Yeah, too. Oh. That's opulent paper. Hmm. At any rate, you get the idea. Now you mat, you finish, and you make spectacular. But that's using that pigment, pigment ink, and the detail you get is crazy. So we started a way, way, way long time ago when the first things we did is we just played with the paper, showing you how to just do a basic, simple, better press, letter press transfer. This is their heavyweight paper. This is my 100 pound white paper using extra shims to get a beautiful, a beautiful impression and getting that same detail in it. You get that same feel. So do you have to use the specialty paper? Yes, if you want to. No, if you don't. Then we started playing with the inks. Do you have to use the inks, the Better Press inks? Yes, if you want to. No, if you don't. I did these. I did these with Hero Hughes inks. Hero Arts, our little cubes. And that one does look good there. <laughs> I did these with Hero Arts inks and made the same transfer. It's up to you on where you want to spend your crafty budget. If the inks are important to you that they be the better pressed inks, buy them, go get them. If it's more important to you to have more plates to play with, well, pass on the inks. Look at that. Okay, I gotta mount that. I'm, yeah, hello, I'm not gonna not mount that. So we played with inks. And then we played, where's my other ones with inks? And this is the one that we came back and did the second better press after the fact. Just changing the, changing the layout, having now the, um, the paper facing up on the better press system and dropping the plate down versus putting the plate down on the better press and dropping the paper because you won't be able to see where you're matting. You're not going to be able to see if you've lined it up in the right neighborhood. Oh, that is totally crooked. Who oh, was I kidding? That was that was way bad. How about I try and line it up way down here and then cut around? That was holy smokes artichokes. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Not great, but better. <laughs> so we did that one. And we did this one with the ink and we put the metallic and we did this one with the ink and we put the glitter and we did this one with the ink and we put the glitter as our sentiment. 
and we did this one with the metallic and then die cut and inked did our better press and then die cut out and we did this one with the metallic inks from jacquard the color pad metallics we didn't get back to doing these these are so pretty and they're just waiting to be finished that's all they are is just waiting to be finished i made sample after sample love this one and it's just waiting to be finished it just needs a little sentiment right in the center do you see how far you can take your better press it's not just for ink it is not this looks this looks like an engraving print and it feels like an engraving print and you're not going to get this with anything else but that jacquard metallic ink it dries super fast doesn't schmear makes an incredible impression is affordable has a re-inker it's amazing holy smokes okay we did a lot today a lot and i have got beautiful samples to show you but before we do that let me make sure I've got my lid on all of my jars of glitter because I know you are all nervous that I'm going to spill one. How do you think the pink got on the back of my craft mat? We even did embossing powder. <laughs> the lid was on. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> that could have been oh so bad. So, okay, so what do we have for sale? Okay, first things first, we do have the better press, yes, but you're gonna be able to find this in lots of places, absolutely. Do we appreciate you shopping with Scrapbooking Made Simple? Of course we do, but heavens, if you can find this closer to home, per, ha, if your local independent retailer has it, buy it through them first. Um, I suppose, I mean, if you want, uh, I know Jennifer McGuire is probably sending you to Simon Says Stamps. I know that there's um, an affiliate commission that she gets if you buy it through them. Go for it, buy it through them and support Jennifer McGuire and Simon Says Stamps. We are, we are the, you know the, the the shop that just believes in and giving a little bit to everybody we we really do so you shop where you're most comfortable and and support where works best for you i just fully believe that if we are kind to each other and we support everybody it will come back to us tenfold it's the right thing to do so i know that that's how jennifer mcguire makes her money um through you know supporting her and and her affiliate commissions and that's how a lot of the influencers out there make their money that's important to them so by all means go ahead and find it through simon says stamps what you can't though get from simon says stamps is our exclusive bundles so here's the first bundle these are the two plates that I was using today that are exclusively at Scrapbooking Made Simple. They are not being bundled with a better press system so that you can just get the plates. So these are the two that I worked with. And then to make it even better, we've included, and when I say we, I mean Spellbinders too, has included an amazing nesting label so that you can certainly add a label and in the center or up here wherever you want to do it so value priced on this without question so this is the first thing that's for sale the second thing we have is another exclusive bundle so these you will be able to find at other retailers I don't know that you'll be able to find them at the bundle price that we have and I did use some of these today so I did use the hello, and yes, it will be open stock too. I didn't use, this is beautiful, wait till you see the sample. The samples are absolutely gorgeous. Here are all of the words. They cut out, the sentiments cut out. You run it through as one, you cut it, and then you've got sentiments for days. Here's the cutting plate to go with the better press plate so that you are able to cut this out. And then the one I loved, I thought this was 
absolutely stunning because of the very fine detail that we were able to achieve. It was shocking to me. So this is our second bundle exclusively to Scrapbooking Made Simple. And yes, these items will be open stock. It's up to you, whichever way makes your heart happy. And then we have got one, two, one, two, three, four of the color pad and all the reinkers to go with. This is a bundle. It's open stock as well. But if you get the bundle, not only do you get a better price, we're throwing in the Sizzix embossing powder for free. <laughs> Thanks to Tada, it's Taylor, and confirming that they had enough and then selling it to me for a price that I could afford to give it to you for free. So we appreciate that from Sizzix, um, making it afford, oh, I broke my nail, making it affordable for us so that I could offer it as the bundle and a free gift. So that's going on sale. The Essentials glue pad is on sale. All of the glitters are on sale. We just had these on sale. So if you've ordered them from YouTube 504, they are here. They are being bundled and they will start shipping next week. So you may have already ordered these. There's no new colors. And the Essentials glue pad, which ships in like this. We'll put the reinker for the Better Press black ink that comes with the better press system so you will always have the reinker. Um, let's see what else do I have here. So I've got my exclusive set. I've got the Spellbinders exclusive bundle. And then we just have better press plates. Open stock. All the new ones. all on sale. So this one has handmade for you. I'm glad there I'm glad there is you. Have a wonderful day. Friendship warms the soul. And it is a die in and better press set. Make sure these are not. Those are that's a die in better press set. So you've got a few little icons, a hummingbird, and a little pair of scissors, and you, so you've got the dies for those, and then the sentiments as well. Here you've got, let's celebrate, happy birthday, much bigger than what's on the packaging. Let's celebrate and happy birthday. Then I've got thanks. Then I've got a note from me to you. That would be cute to make for gifts and give them a bunch of those. And then I've got sending strength, a little message to say happy birthday to you. Here's to another year, a big congrats on your special day, wishing you all the best. So small little better presses with the dies so that you can pop them right out. So all of that, all of that is part of the YouTube yummies, including the better press, which we have for just our $79.99 regular price. But they are here, they are ready to ship, we are good to go on them. All right, samples, let's talk samples. So we have here, these are the two I showed you in the beginning. And done with the glitter on the hello. And then done in black with water coloring and you've got foiling going on. So you can use the better press plates in your glimmer machine. Yes, they will work. A little distressing going on here. Here's the bird. It's beautiful done with the coordinating nesting diamonds that's part of the exclusive bundle that we have here so this is you'll be able to find this plate everywhere but we have it in a bundle 
Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at the, see all the design and the kind of the vintagey, grungy look. I love that. And here, this is used with the, the sealed program. Here you have that beautiful hello I was using done with the sealed program. So wax seals. Mm, pretty. I'm so grateful. Sending health and happiness. So this was done with my exclusive. It was cut out with the with the additional bonus nesting set. And then you've got a glimmer in the center. So this is done with my exclusive frame. And this one, again, done with my exclusive frame and my exclusive, well, not my, the frame's not exclusive. It's in the bundle, <laughs> but the better press is exclusive. So that bundle you'll only be able to find here and this better press plate you will only be able to find here. Now, if you can believe this and this were done with that better, my, my exclusive better press plate, this one, and this one. Two completely different looks, yet done with the same better press plate. So pretty. And then we have more. Here we went ahead and used a die to take out the center and then put our sentiment, our better press sentiment in the center. And this is my exclusive plate. And this one is just so, so soft. It's done on vellum. So the hello is there, it's in vellum. I'm not sure if the light can catch it because, because of the silver on the translucent. In person, it's stunning. So if you get the chance to come to the store, come see it because they always look better live than they do on camera. <laughs> I had Mary and Yvette here today and they said the same thing. Man, that looks so much better in person. The camera does a fine job. It just can't, it just can't get it all. This one's so soft and so sweet. And it was colored in with Colored pencils would be my best guess. And again, here is my exclusive plate with the exclusive or the, the added value label so that you could put something in the center of it. You've got those nesting labels. And here again, so they did it twice. That's my exclusive better press plate that we were playing with today. And they did it twice to give the both corners. And again, the, the added value label that you're gonna get so that you can finish your sentiments off. Oh, these are so pretty. They're just lovely. And they can be as simple as this for the ladies who might not like to color here it is most of this you can do without having to color at all between the glitter and putting down the ink I mean, I certainly, I certainly didn't do anything on this one, but add ink to the, to the plate and send it on through. And I didn't do anything with this one except for adding to the plate and send it on through. That's how all of these were. You don't need to do anything more than add the ink to the plate and send it on through. 
All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, saying, wow, Spellbinders, congratulations. You've been waiting for this. You've been planning for this. And I hope that your global launch of your Better Press letterpress system was everything you hoped it could be. I, I, I hope that what we did with it will maybe show consumers and customers and crafters and makers and teachers and store owners and everybody else just how far your system really will let them take their creativity. And again, it's all about supporting the community. We are all about reaching across the aisle and, 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 and making sure that all of us can stay in business. So again, I don't know how many people are doing better press today, but I'm sure it's a lot. And tee them up on your YouTube, put them in your, put them up to tee up and, and I bet every single person you watch will do something a little bit different or they'll do it in a way that, that speaks to them. You might see the same technique done three different ways so you can figure out what's the best way for you, what works for you. And of course, support that local independent retailer. I know they have bought into this system. I know that they have spent their, their hard money to bring this in and it is an expense for them. So, and, and they might not have a YouTube channel or a Facebook channel. So if you get the chance, stop there first and then then you shop where you're most comfortable. Um, I don't know Jennifer McGuire. I don't know anybody else. You know, I'm, I don't know people in the industry. Not, I don't. So by all means, tell her that. Well, she won't know who I am, but Stacy from Scrapbooking Made Simple says hi. <laughs> and tell her we appreciate her support of the Better Press system because then it even gets out to a bigger audience. And, and that's just gonna support Spellbinders even more. So I am Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Find this in our YouTube Yummies category. Enjoy the sale, enjoy the value pricing, enjoy the exclusive plates that we have, and most importantly, enjoy making. Sit down and make something today. Take, really, 15 minutes. Just grab three pieces of scrap paper and make something with them and see how it changes your changes your whole mood. It just brightens your whole day. All right, you guys, I will see you on Monday for our next Make It Monday event. And that is an event where we bring you from $80 to $100 worth of product from your favorite manufacturers for just $19.99. It's an amazing value. So I will see you on Monday, 5 p.m. Sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. And until then, Go make something pretty. <laughs> Bye, everybody.